Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with April Mitchell, and we're in the HP Labs Pavilion area, and we're talking about the machine across the board here. And can you go into a little bit about what is the machine? Sure. Uh, with the machine, we're really looking to change at HP Labs uh, and bit in the new era of computing. You know, if we stop considering how computing's worked over the last 60 years and say, how do we want to reinvent it from the ground up? That's the project that we're undergoing here to talk about the machine. So there's three key pieces where we're looking to innovate. One's through custom specific socks, so the system on a chip, uh, starting with what we're doing with our moonshot cartridges and taking that into a rack scale version with what we have on the machine. The other is photonics. We've got some great photonics demos that we can show of really how we're pushing the envelopes both of photonics research and the advanced development and getting to that 100 gigabits per second on a single fiber. And the final piece is universal memory. What happens when from any processor you can get to all of the memory in the machine? That really changes how we can do programming. How we would do programming if we would do it that way at the beginning. Instead of having to wait for that delay and head out to memory that's somewhere stored on desk, it's right there, it's byte addressable and I can get to it quickly. All right, so when we're standing in front of a demo about um, extreme similarity, yes. and what is extreme similarity, and why is the machine well suited to deal with it? So for this, we wanted to look at a couple of different algorithms and understand, let's benchmark and understand, you know, how will the machine and dealing with this large amount of universal memory really, really perform better. So we wanted to compare the state of the art, a disk-based distributed system uh, with where we're going with in memory, with where we want to go with the machine where we can treat it all as universal memory. So the way we built it was around similarity search. Given one object as a query, I want to compare it against 80 million objects and find the ones that are most similar. So in this case, we select selected one image to query against. The disk-based version is still running. It'll stop in about 450 seconds from when I click to go. The in-memory version returned in about a little over a second, 1.3 uh, seconds. The universal memory, we're around 100 milliseconds. Now what you got to understand, all three of these running on the same machines, have the same amount of processor power, have the same amount of memory, it's just how we're treating the memory different. And what you're seeing right here is a 1200x improvement in the return time. You go all the way up to 800, mil 800 million images, we're getting 5400x improvement. Way to kind of bring it down to something we can understand, consider 320 million images. That's like one photo for every person in the United States. I take a query image and I give it to you and I said, who are the four similar, most similar people to this? I'm gonna get you an answer in 17 milliseconds. That's, wow. that's fast, it changes. Things. That's uh, <laughs> that, that, that's that's pretty fast. So um, that's that's an application for something like that with, with photo search. Yeah. What are some other kinds of applications you could imagine? So much more beyond just images. Let's think about genomes. You know, we're moving to this edge where we can now sequence a genome close to several hours. If we have one of those for every person, think about how we can do cohort analysis. So now I'm able to come in and it really changes the immediacy of things, how interactive systems that we're working with are. It could change the way that we interact with healthcare, um, give the information to our doctors when they need it, not a week later after all of the results come back when they have to do the comparisons. Um, this could work across many different domains, uh, security, healthcare. We're just kind of pushing the envelope, but really what we want to focus on here is the scale, and I think we've proved we've, uh, we've, we've had a good start. Yeah, certainly uh, 17 milliseconds to return. Something out of, out of 80 million assets is, uh, is pretty impressive. Yeah, the, the team's done a great job, um, you know, putting together demos like this, really helping prove where we're going. And we're innovating on the machine, both on the software and the hardware side at the same time. And we're doing this in parallel. And it's a really exciting time to be part of HP and HP Labs. All right, well, thanks, April. Thanks, Jake.